Hello and welcome on this new midweek analysis video. This is Salah speaking and today I'm here to discuss with you the forecast or the signals which I have sent last Sunday on my YouTube channel. But however, before we proceed with this, I needed to remind everyone about the upcoming high impact news uh, for today and tomorrow, which actually might affect the direction of the signals that I'm about to give you right now. So as we can see today, Wednesday, February 16th, we will be having at 5.30 p.m. Dubai time, 1.30 p.m. GMT time, the news about the CPI for the CAD pair and the core retail sales for the USD pairs. Um, this news, of course, depends on the actual forecast, uh, may, uh, might actually change uh, the direction of the market. So please be careful. And I really suggest you guys to close your uh, open positions uh, before the news, just a few minutes, just to see how the market is uh, behaving uh, according to them. Of course, uh, tomorrow as well at 4.30 a.m. Dubai time, 12.30 uh, a.m. GMT time, we will be having also the unemployment rate for uh, the Australian dollar. So please be careful for that again. And also keep in mind that tomorrow as well, we will be having the G20 meetings. These news, my friends, can actually change the direction of the market and can actually affect it. Of course, the G20 meetings is going to uh, continue till Friday as well. So again, be extra careful and be aware about how these news can actually change or impact, uh, make an impact on the market. So let's now start talking about the Euro USD. Uh, as you can see, the Euro USD has reversed exactly from where I have mentioned that we can start shorting it uh, not only once, but twice. Yesterday, as we can see, 14th February, uh, the market has reached this level of the sell, which I have mentioned at the opening of the market on Monday morning, and it has went all the way for about 90 pips. It was really a good signal, and I believe, uh, I hope really that you guys have taken this signal and have made good profits out of it. And of course, we can see that the market has made a second attempt and has reversed exactly um, at the same level again. So far, the euro USD is running in 22 pips. I believe uh, that the market right now is actually going to be ranging on this level. Let me just tell you something. If you guys remember from my last uh, two weeks videos I have been actually sending to you, I told you that we're having right here this uh, pattern of a false breakout and right here we're having this support and I told you that the euro USD will continue the fall till it reach that level of a support and completes the pattern. That is exactly what happened right here. We can see that the market has exactly reached this level of a support and right now it has reversed. So we can assume that the pound, sorry, the euro USD has already reached the take profit level. I'm not saying it reached, it, uh, reached the, take, the take profit level. Don't get me wrong. I'm not claiming the signal. All I'm saying is it has already reached the support level right here. So meaning the pattern has been completed. Now from my experience in this and um, from uh, judging from the history we can expect from the euro USD to be ranging for this week on this level of uh, channel as we can see right here so he here is actually a channel and it seems to me like the euro USD so far hasn't made any decision about uh, the breakout from this level because so far on the daily chart we don't have any good price action indicates a bullish neither rev uh, bearish reversals Therefore, I'm expecting, according to the history that we can see here in front of us, that most likely the euro USD will continue ranging inside this channel, as we can see. So by looking at the four hour time frame as well, and judging from how the market has been respecting this level of a resistance, again, I really doubt that the market is going to make any bullish reversal at the moment. All I can see here is a bearish movement. And of course, this candle right here, this price action, once this candle has appeared on, this, this is of course a reverse spin bar. Once we see this one on a resistance level, it usually indicates a bearish reversal. So that being said, I think the Euro USD this week is going to be ranging on this zone. So therefore, I think maybe eventually by Friday, if everything went correctly, and hopefully it does, uh, we can expect from the Euro USD to actually hit the take profit level however again i'm telling you that i'm assuming that the euro usd has already approached the take profit level we can see that the market has already created one and two attempts uh, of that support zone right here so therefore uh, nothing can be added for the euro usd the signal still goes as it is again we have to pay attention to the news 
about the um, core retail sales for the USD pairs for uh, uh, sorry, which is going to happen today at 5:30 p.m. Dubai time, 1:30 GMT time, and I think it can it can actually make some movement for the Euro USD. But from my point of view, the Euro USD will continue ranging inside this channel, as I have said. So that's everything for the Euro USD. Let's now check the next pair. Let's now take a look at the pound USD. For the pound USD right now, it's actually a different story. Uh, as we can see, the sell hasn't been triggered, but the pair has already approached the take profit level, uh, which means that this signal is no longer valid. As I have told you, my friends, always, when any signal I'm sending already reaches the take profit level, it immediately disqualifies the signal, and we have to, uh, to, uh, to look right now for a new setups. All right, so let's see now what we can do next with the pound USD. In my opinion, the pound USD has actually been reversing on that support level for several times. Uh, that support on 1.35083, as we can see, the pair has actually created right here a strong key support level. Then we can notice clearly how the market has been struggling at this level as a resistance, and it was only one single attempt of a resistance then the market has failed and remember i'm on the four hour time frame the market has failed to make any at second attempt of the resistance not only that but the market has been respecting the same level of a support one two three four five times and every single time there was actually a major or a strong rejection and the last rejection happened yesterday uh, with this long tail right here from my point of view, most likely the pound USD is actually continue, uh, uh, going to continue the rise. So therefore, we need to look right now for a strong support level where we can actually start buying this pair. So let's now move to the daily chart. We just need to confirm the direction again. So as we can see right here on the daily chart, uh, if we check the movement right here, my friends, we can see clearly on the daily chart again that the market has been respecting this support level. So most likely it has actually been uh, bouncing on this support level. So let me just here make a channel again, just to know exactly how far the pound USD might continue rising. So most likely the eventual target for the pound USD after being rejecting, uh, sorry, after rejecting the, the bearish breakout from that support level, most likely is going to continue the movement till it reaches the high level of the resistance right here at 1.39670. So it seems to me like actually on the daily chart, everything says that the pair is going to be bullish. Therefore, after confirming the direction, let's now move to the one hour time frame. So on the one hour time frame, we have to consider something. We are having right here, that what we have right here actually is a false breakout, which means that the market has made a strong attempt to break out from that long term support exactly right here at 1.35175. Let me just show it to you. So this is ex exactly the real level of the support. This is where the market has made uh, many attempts actually, and the, all of them were false uh, attempts. Let me just show you again. So right here, we had uh, an attempt what seemed like a bearish breakout from that support, but the market has immediately uh, went above that level of a support again. Then again, we see the, the history repeating itself. We had another bearish breakout from that support and the market has fooled us, making us thinking that it has made another bearish breakout from it. Yet the market has immediately resumed the bouncing above that support level for several times. Till recently, we can notice it clearly that on yesterday, actually, all of that happened yesterday. And, ah, uh, sorry, uh, 14th February was before yesterday. It was Monday, sorry. So we can see on Monday, the market has made another bearish breakout from that level, yet it has resumed again bouncing above that support. And again, recently, just today, the, uh, yesterday this happened, the market has again made... So you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. Every single time it happens, the market resumes the bouncing above that support level. So that being said, the real level of the support is exactly lies at 1.35023. This is exactly where we can start buying the pound USD and hoping for the best. So therefore, sorry, um, buy the pound USD at 1.352203, um, exactly just like that. And the target will be right here, the peak of the resistance exactly at uh, 1.36386, just, just to be sure. 
uh, that's actually might be a lot let me just make it more realistic that's actually better level the peak of the resistance is exactly right here yes at 1.303692 uh, which means we can expect about 88 pips profit from the signal and of course the safe zone will be ranging just till the lowest level of the support right here as actually we are we just have been discussing the strength of this support level right here and how the market has made uh, several bounces right on the same level so the take profit level will be right here take profit at 1.3692 that's everything for the pound USD. Hopefully it goes very well. And by the way, the safe zone will be ranging for 35 pips only. That's everything for the pound USD. Let's now move to the next pair. Let's now take a look at the AUD USD. So regarding the AUD USD, actually I need to adjust my sell level for this pair. Uh, the sell level or the sell signal is still valid and we are still going to short this pound, uh, the AUD USD, but I just wanted to remind you uh, about the strength of the resistance that we're having right here exactly. Yes, exactly right here at uh, 0 0.71685. We can expect from the AUD USD to continue the rise again just till it reaches the peak of the resistance right here, and after that, it's gonna make the bearish reversal. And I want to show you something else. Let's move to the one hour time frame. So on the one hour time frame, we can notice clearly that right here, exactly right here, let me just show you, exactly just like that. So we're having right here, yes, we're having right here, my friends, a resistance number one. So you can expect from the AUD USD to rise again, reaches that level of the first attempt of the resistance, and here it might create a resistance number two. Therefore, I believe 0 0.7178 to be a better level to start shorting the pair or if you have already opened your trade just keep it running and ranging inside of the safe zone till finally it uh, becomes in a profit but again again i'm reminding everyone about the news for the unemployment rate for the aud tomorrow at 4 30 a.m G uh, dubai time 12 30 a.m gmt uh, time of course it might affect this signal so please be extra careful and please don't blame anyone if you have uh, kept this thread running during DC news I'm telling you no one can take the blame but you yourself if you have kept the thread running because keeping the thread running during DC news of the unemployment rate is very risky no one does that and uh, survive in my opinion so that's everything for the AUD UST. let's now move to the next pair let's now take a look at the usd cad so the usd cad actually has been triggered yesterday as we can see and the pair has went in total of 65 pips and then went all the way back again to the entry let's take a look at the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame we can see clearly that the usd, USD cad has actually reversed exactly from that resistance at one um let me just be sure 1.2774. So what we can expect next from this pair? Let me just tell you something. In my opinion, and if we check the daily chart, the USD CAD right now is ranging inside this channel, as we can see. Now, the problem here is that the market is, seems like it's in a bullish movement, but currently the price action right here is seems bearish. Now, in my opinion, this indicates a consolidation in this level meaning the USD CAD will be also ranging inside this channel. So therefore, we can keep the same signal running, but however, we have to keep in our mind as well that it actually might take some time to be in deep profit. I really not, I'm not really sure what we can do about the USD CAD. It's going to be ranging on that level. We can see here a strong, let me just show you that channel, if in case you guys haven't noticed it yet, exactly this is the channel. So, we can expect from the USD CAD to be ranging as we can see right here on the same level of this channel. Therefore, there is a chance for the USD CAD to continue the fall again, reaching the same level of that strong support at 1.2657 before finally be in profit. So therefore, I need to adjust this signal right now to make sure I'm giving you the most accurate thing possible uh, uh, on extreme trader style. Therefore, Based on that strong support zone right here, we are going to adjust our buy level. 
I want to place my buy order on the real strong support level. So where is the strong support level? Let me just tell you. Again, we have to consider the false breakouts and ignore them. We have to el el uh, eliminate any kind of uh, false breakout on that level. So by looking carefully on this level, look at that. We're having right here where uh, a strong support level, a strong, key, a strong key support level, and right here as well, a strong key support level as well. Interesting. And we can see that the market has become a strong resistance right here as well. So meaning the level of 1.26825 seems like it's actually a better level to start buying the USD CAD. So therefore, that is exactly going to be the level where we can start buying this pair exactly just like that. So let me just uh, edit the signal for you. We can start by the USD CAD again at 1.26825. Correct? 26825. And by the way, guys, um, right now is 6.53 a.m. Dubai time. And I just actually woke up. So therefore, you might notice that I'm not really speaking well. Um, I'm just doing my... Not woke up immediately. I mean, I woke up like 4.30 and i spent at least one hour analyzing the market and making sure everything is correct but still you know it's morning time i didn't have my coffee yet uh neither breakfast <laughs> so i just want to make sure i'm done with this video first before doing anything else so therefore there goes let me just also adjust the take profit level so the take profit level has to be edited as well it will be right here at the peak of the resistance at 2.7742 so um we have to expect to make approximately uh, 90 pips profit from this signal meanwhile the safe zone will be ranging for 46 pips only that's everything for the usd cad let's now move to the next pair let's now move to the usd jpy usd jpy in my, in my opinion there is absolutely nothing required to be added so far everything's still the same the double top pattern here indicates a bearish reversal i think the uh, the growth for the usd jpy has ended and most likely right now the pair is getting ready for the bearish reversal not to mention of course that so far on the daily chart there is not a single price action indicates a bearish uh, a bullish uh, continuation or a movement uh, continuation in this pattern so most likely the pair is gonna make a bearish reversal at the moment let me now go to the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame we're having here this pin bar which i think indicates a possibility in the bearish reversal so again uh usd gpy signal has been triggered so far running in um 11 pips of profit and i think there is nothing can be added to the signal everything is going uh, so far as planned hopefully it continue going this way so that's everything for the usd gpy let's now check the next pair let's now take a look at the usd chf which is of course my favorite uh, pair of all time and you have guys you guys have no idea how much i love analyzing the usd chf okay so far nothing to be added also to the usd chf the signal hasn't been triggered the market did not reach yet our buy order uh, or buy zone but however we can expect from the pair to fall to another 35 pips no that's not gonna happen Let's just move to the daily chart. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I love the USD CHF. So, not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> this is so ugly. All I can tell you, my friends, is right here is the strong level of the support. And seems like the pair has actually failed to reach that level of the previous uh, support level as 0 0.92187. And I don't think it's going to continue, uh, sorry, continue the fall to reach that level. So by looking at the daily chart, even on the four hour time frame, uh, we can check right here the uh, support level. It seems like the USDCHF is actually respecting this level. It is bouncing right on that support. So therefore, uh, let me just uh, do something else and check my support zone exactly right from here still actually i don't think um, the, the uccchf has any potential or a chance to continue the fall at the moment most likely we can expect from the uccchf to fall all the way at least to this level of the of the previous support exactly right here exactly at 0 0.92388 no no guys no, i'm not joking right now this is serious let's move to the one hour time frame 
Okay, so on the one hour time frame, we are using the same principles of detecting on determining the strong support level. So by checking the history on the one hour time frame, this level was the strong key support level at 0 0.92388. We can notice also it has been uh, respecting this level as a support several times. And what we can see right here is also another false breakout happened right from that level again. So the same thing almost repeating itself, uh, what happened with the pound USD and the euro USD uh, is also happening here as well with the uh, CH, USD CHF. Therefore, we can wait for the USD CHF to fall to another 15 pips at least before we can start buying the pair. So therefore, this is actually a better signal for the USD CHF. And let me just correct it to make, to make it 0 0.92388. Also, we can notice right here this support trend line, which I have drawn right here. Yes, actually, it might complete the pattern of the support trend line, uh, trend line as well. And therefore, it might actually continue the bounce, the bounce till it reaches the peak of the resistance right here as 0 0.93255, which means the target will be about 86 pips only. Meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging for uh, 40 pips, I would say. So that's everything for the USDCHF. Let's now move to the gold. So looking at the gold right here, my friends, what we can see right here is actually a perfection of my expectation, in my opinion. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now, what I have said actually uh, last week, that the gold is highly affected by the news about the potential war between Russia and Ukraine. Yesterday, Russia has announced that they started a pull, a partial pullback, of course, from um, the, their troopers actually has been have been actually uh, partially uh, pulled back from the border of Ukraine. And upon the news, of course, we can see that the gold has dropped for approximately 350 pips, according to this news, in my opinion. And from technical view, it has already reached the peak of the resistance right here exactly at 1,876. I can't say that the gold has been respecting the technical analysis at the moment. In my opinion, that drop right here was completely due to the news about the uh, the, the army in, the, in Russia uh, uh, making the pullbacks uh, from the border of the Ukraine. So that being said, we can see that the buy signal has been triggered and the gold has reversed exactly from where I have mentioned that we can start buying the gold and it went in total of 115 or 20 pips of profit and currently running in um, 83 or 82 pips of profit. But I don't think that this is actually the, the most accurate level to start buying the gold. Most likely the gold will continue the fall till it reaches exactly. Let me just look at the left to be sure. We need to look at the left, my friends, to find the strongest uh, support level that we can expect from the gold to rely on. It's always my strategy to find the strongest support level. And exactly right here, I think this is exactly where we have mentioned to start buying the gold in the past. Let me just make sure. Yeah, this is exactly where the level I have mentioned to start buying the gold. Still, I don't think this is the, the, the strongest level of the support. In my opinion, yes. This actually might be a better level exactly right here. The support at 1,837. Let me just make sure. Yes, this is exactly the level I have selected before. Perfect. That's a perfection. This is actually, my friends, going to be a better level to start buying the gold. Uh, so far, the bearish movement is quite strong. And I don't think that it's really wise to start buying the gold immediately. We have to wait some reaction from the level of the resistance of 1837.19. The gold most likely is going to continue the fall till it reaches that previous resistance level and retesting the broken level of the resistance. Right here, we're having the, the nearest support to this bullish breakout candle. That being said, I believe the level of 1837 is gonna be a better level to start again buying the gold but of course we have to wait for the pair to fall to another 150 pips before we can start buying it so let me just edit the signal right here 1837.20 i would say is gonna be a better level to start buying the gold and the take profit level remains the same 
at the peak of the resistance where the pair has reversed earlier at 1000 876 and in my opinion the gold still has more potential actually to continue the rise but however again i'm reminding everyone about the news from russia uh, now i think the the chance of the the war between russia and ukraine has vanished already with what happened yesterday and today actually um i mean the uh the army is being pulled back from the border most likely the chances of the war is now as i said has vanished so therefore i really don't think from the goal to make any st strong movements upon this news even the oil i think right now the prices might go down but so far the fundamentals is not really affecting the uh, the goal so far in my opinion so therefore most likely we have to depend right now on the technical anal technical analysis and from my opinion the gold will definitely continue the fall till it re uh, retest that broken resistance at 1837 that's gonna be the best level to start buying the gold again i want to use the uh this the trend lines to confirm my uh entry just to make sure exactly actually look at that this is perfection <laughs> that's the perfection my friends look at that this is my strategy which i'm teaching uh the magic of trend lines you can see that this support level has been respected again but still i think the the gold is going to continue the fall actually yes that's a better level look at that this is actually a strong key support level uh on the trend lines as we can see most likely this supported trend line uh, most likely it's going to be respected so therefore the previous support right here and the support trend lines confirming that this level is actually better level to start buying the gold so therefore the safe zone for the gold is going to be again 1500 uh, 150 pips meanwhile the target will be about 400 pips and hopefully uh, it does so i believe that's everything for the midweek analysis again i want to remind everyone to be careful about any trade they are opening the market might actually be affected by the news that that uh, up, the upcoming news of today and tomorrow and again keep your eyes on the news about uh, russia and ukraine they can affect uh, the direction of the gold and again we don't know what mr putin can decide at any moment maybe he will change his mind maybe he will put back the uh, army on the border and get, make them fully prepared so this can actually again affect the new uh, sorry the price of the gold it's really affected by the fundamentals right now especially this news about the war so again I, I have to remind everyone multiple times because i know a lot of you are skipping the video to the points i know a lot of you i think very rare people here um only a few people here hearing the whole video i'm sure if maybe no one at all i don't know but i'm telling you to be careful and be wise about how you are fund uh, managing your funds so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching.